Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be quite a quick one, but it's definitely something I think a lot of you guys um, are going to find some value in it. Uh, and it's got to do with changing the brushes if you've got a, a Torcraft Dual Action Polisher or if you've got the Mac Africa Dual Action Polisher from Arendorf. So if you want to change these little guys, you're going to want to stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Saron. So as mentioned in the intro, we're going to be changing the brushes on the Mac Africa Dual Action Polisher. That's the one I have here today with me. Um, but if you've got a Torcraft, it's the exact same thing. Uh, one, it's a different company, but the design is, 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 is the same. Um, so, so a lot of you will know that, um, you know, that know me personally or that know something about MD Workshop and my company. You know that I do um, quite a lot of repairs on the Shield Dual Action Polishers. And when my friend brought, you know, when he brought this Dual Action Polisher, um, I honestly thought it was, you know, the design was the same as the first gen dual action polisher by Shield or even the Meguiar's G220. Um, those two are very much uh, alike or they're actually the same machine. And um, I thought I was just going to quickly just, you know, one, two, three, get the covers off and then we realized it's not as easy. Um, he left his dual action polisher with me. Um, I started frilling around a bit more and yeah we just couldn't get the cover at the back off to get you know to get access to the actual brushes because you had the typical dual action um you know uh, machine issue with when the brushes start to give in you, you have sudden you know intermittent uh, losses of power or the machine just won't switch off or, or actually switch on uh, so he brought the unit to me and so eventually um, I managed to get it, well not me, I actually took it to one of my technicians and he also had a look and it was actually a very, very easy and uh, it, it's, 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 it's an easy fix uh, to get to the brushes or, or, or an easy access but unfortunately if you don't know where to look, I promise you, you are not going to, uh, you know, you're really going to struggle, you're really going to get frustrated, so let's jump straight into it. But before we do, I actually want to show you guys what the normal, you know, when you use, like I, like I said, either the G220 from Meguiar's or the dual action polisher from Shield, the first generation dual action polishers from most of the companies. I want to show you guys how you actually gain access to the brushes, you know, when, they, uh, when they're on their way out or when they are completely done for. So as you guys can see, this is the Mac Africa unit. Let's put this over here. This is a dual action polisher by Shield, the, the Mark I. Now, the brushes sit, they sit just here. Now, to gain access to that, it's very easy. All you do, as you guys can see there, there we go. You just loosen this little bolt here and the cover slides off. And then you guys can see the, if I go like this, over there, I have added new brushes on this unit, but over there, if we can just go in there, you guys can see that little unit there, that is the actual wiring for the brushes, and um, so that's it, easy to get access to this. So what we've done here, or actually what my friend has done, he's removed all the screws as you guys can see over there. Um, there's two over here, uh, here as well. So as you guys can see, I'm pulling nothing. And to gain access to the brushes or to at least first remove the housing, these two silver units, that one over there, and that one over there. All you need to do, once you've removed the screw here, just go in. Uh, 
pop that one and let's go on the side over here ah good grief i'll pick it up now and there we go as you guys can see and now we've got access to get to remove the old brushes fit new ones as you can see i've got new ones over here and i just want to show you guys something quickly over here um where's this other cover there all right so as you can see you know it comes off easily these little silver tabs acts as a um, as a little clamp to keep this fitting on you so over and above the actual screws so you guys can see i'm just gonna slide this in here and that's not coming off at all and if i remove it again So yeah, quite, quite a clever design, um, you know, especially considering the price point uh, that, they, that these units are selling at. Very nice uh, thought, thought, uh, thought of uh, clamp to make sure that, you know, these covers stay in place. Um, and also from a safety perspective, you know, so that's how you guys go about removing uh, the bushes or actually the brushes of these units. So guys, I just wanted to show you the difference in the brushes, the new one versus the old one that I removed from that polisher. You guys can see over there. <laughs> so yeah, they definitely needed to be replaced. So that's it guys. As you saw, that was quick and easy. I hope this helps you guys. Um, I know I've seen once or twice where the guys have asked on the forum, on the South African Detailers Forum, you know, how do they get to the brushes so yeah i hope this has helped you guys if you haven't done so please consider clicking the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell right next to it that way you'll get notified whenever i do these uploads also if you haven't done so please consider clicking the like button i would really appreciate that and as usual guys don't just clean your car let's make it shine